And still sticking with the theme of teeth, Betty Watts of Hayward woke up this morning with no teeth. Now she has a mouthful. Tonight, NBC 11's Health Watch reporter Marianne Favreau shows us how she got her new smile in an hour. Betty Watt's smile didn't leave her smiling. Forty years ago, doctors diagnosed her with severe gum disease and pulled all her teeth. She's worn uncomfortable dentures ever since. You've got to take them out and you got to, because if any little thing that gets up under them, it's irritating. This is her seventh pair and she's hoping she'll never have to wear them again. So by looking at this and then adding the denture in, this technology is helping make that possible. Using a CT scan of her mouth and dentures, this special software made by Nobel BioCare creates a 3D picture for surgeons. Now we actually see a virtual model of the, what the patient is actually alike with their denture in their mouth. This surgical template is then created to guide doctors to the precise place to implant a new bridge in Betty's mouth. Because she has no teeth, the bone in her jaw is starting to dissolve. Doctors say this implant will help. Well, the most wonderful part of this implant procedure is when implants are placed, it mimics biologically what teeth do, so patients' jaw bones stop dissolving. Dr. Edmund Benrosian is the director of implant training at UOP's oral surgery program. In just one hour, he and his team at Highland Hospital in Oakland implanted Betty's new permanent prosthesis in her mouth. Her new teeth are acrylic and should last at least 10 years. They look good. <laughs> They look very good. They look natural. And I like them. For the first time in decades, her teeth are firmly in place. She can feel the roof of her own mouth and soon enjoy the foods dentures made her shun. I'm looking forward to eating me some peanut brittle. Now that, she says, is worth smiling about. In Oakland, Marianne Favreau, NBC 11 News. And right now, this procedure is so new, it's not going to be available to the general public for several more months. The net cost of this ranges from twelve to $25,000. Insurance does not cover it.